Texas trees. Fall oh yeah, and totally. You see mm. the grass is all dead around you. Uh -huh. The skies are gray. We have jack o' lanterns, jack o' lanterns everywhere. all over. And we have leaves gold, covering gold. the ground. I just went trick or treating last night. It was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it's not exactly. Well, this is I guess. It's not. It's a beautiful uh, Texas October, but um, in your mind, that is. We're actually filming right now in the middle of summer, but we do have a nice spooky. Something special. Bottoms up, the better days, baby. Coming out of Ohio, courtesy of Review the World and Family, we have cauldron skittles. I think we should say. Ooh, uh, in on that bag. Oh wow! Look at the see, skittles coming out of the pot. Yeah, they're literally like bubbles, and they form into fully formed skittles. All right. I, I think I it needs to be like, said. I, I think one thing that we did not discuss though before we started this video, these are from the 2016 season. Now, as of the time of this recording, we are yet to know for certain if culture and skills have returned or not in the 2017 year. They may have, or there may be something completely different out by Skittles. So we don't know. In which as case, record this review is even more precious. <laughs> because you may won't be, be able to find cauldron on the shelves. Maybe you only see it capsule. here on Toby Vlog. So either way, this is nice. It's either a time capsule of a four uh, of a bygone candy, or if they are back, it's, it's a timely review. It's an endorsement. Yes. We have yeah. five flavors here that the witches have brewed up in their cold. Now, we've, we've shown the nice orange bag. I want to really capture that. Very um, reminiscent of the spirit of Halloween here. The five flavors of cauldron, Skittles, or twisted tangerine. Now, we had, Brian, if you remember, way back, yes, way the back in the summer. Review. Yep. In the Bright Side Review, we had a very tasty tangerine Skittle. Is this just tangerine or is there something twisted about it, Brian? I, I think don't know. they should have made the twiddle actually like a twisted, like someone like grabbed it and twisted <laughs> it. That would have been a cool idea. Petrified pear for the green. I Petrified love pear. pear. One of my favorite fruits. Exactly. I pear, don't, I, it's like reason, an apple. It's a little more sweet. It's a little more soft. I don't really have faith. I don't know what Skittles is. Let's find out. Gripping grape. Doubting. Gripping grape. I, I am doubting. Which is probably just grape. Uh, looking at the Skittle in my cup, it looks like the standard grape. No, it's, Lurking it's gonna lemon. Grab, which is probably the standard lemon. Uh, I don't know, Brian. Is this, my heart is starting to falter here. Do you think acid lovers would appreciate the lurking lemon, Brian? <laughs> and then we've got... Boogie Berry. Which is probably berry. the return of Wild Berry. From, no, it's not as bright as the one from the America. It's probably it's, like Blueberry or something. No, we're going to find out. You, you didn't correct me on my pronunciation, Brian. Is it bogey berry? Is that like a British thing here? <laughs> it's bogey. Bogey or boogie? It's, what, it's, what's, your, what's your take? Typically, I would think boogie would have what? The two O's? It Boogie? would, right? But Bogies are we going for the bogeyman after... or the boogeyman? Well, what are we this doing? Is, it's Humphrey Bogart. Right. Uh, he has his own. You know, they're, they're Berry flavor for Skittles. For the golden age of Hollywood is being represented by Skittles now. Brian, Let's start off with bogey berry. You're um, a guest on the channel. Why don't you, why don't you slam that first? Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put it there. The intense. Hmm. So, it's certainly not any of the flavors that we've had as part of this Skittles trilogy that is tucking place over the summer and into the fall on Toby Vlog. It's not the wild berry or the blackberry. I'm trying to reach back in my memory to, to remember what wild berry was all about. Wild berry, we, we, we kind of came down upon it being Kool-Aid with too much sugar. Mm -hmm. This bogey berry, it has kind of a deeper, I mean, I'm going to say blueberry. I'm going to say that's what they're reaching for here. And I appreciate it. I, I'm positive on this. This, this gets you think a it's blueberry? Me. Yeah, I do. Maybe you're right. I was going to say it's more of a generic blue raspberry, which is kind of that catch-all kids of the 90s, you know, go-to flavor, right. which isn't based on any kind of real fruit that you find in the wild. But uh, 
If it is, thumbs up, because I was never a fan of the blue raspberry or the black cherry flavors of the 90s, but I do like this uh, Skittle. So it's not, not one of my, it's not gonna be on my top five Skittles of all time, but it's good. Let's take a departure from that more off the beaten tread path and try some that might be a little bit more familiar before we go. Uh, the grape? The, yeah, let's do grape and let's do lemon. Let's do grape first. Gripping grape, I believe it was. Yep. Is it gripping you? Mm, hey. Okay. Brian, do you remember Hubba Bubba Gump? Uh huh. Do you remember the grape Hubba Bubba? I do. Yeah. That's what they yeah. captured here in the Skittles variety, I think. Perfect, perfect retread of that old flavor, which I enjoyed. You're not far off. I would say I'll raise, I'll take that and I'll raise you. Let's wait until Augie comes in because he's a little bit more familiar as someone that's a bit younger with the current Skittles regular red pack. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it tastes any different than the standard Skittle because I don't believe it does. I think it's the great. That's what the funny name to tie into the theme. Up next. Lurking lemon. Oh, are you lurking? Well, I remember. I think it was two October's ago. Uh, over on my site, my pal Nick and I did a review on zombie sours, which were a sour uh, Mike and Ike's pack mm -hmm. that had different fruit flavors. And I, I, the reason I bring it, I call it to mind, is because the, the lemon in that one was called Leary Lemon, yeah. which I thought was such a strange idea. Like he's leering through your windows like he's you know a little creepy i think lurking lemon is a better better one better alliteration i just got uh an important message saying that we've reached 20 percent of battery no problem so yeah keep, keep the camera that's, that's how you're probably familiar on the bright side review we also had that it's because when the, <laughs> our star shines so bright on these reviews it, it it wanes the battery keep them um i gotta tell you lemon is probably the last flavor that I would so, so associate with Halloween and spookiness of any variety. Huge thumbs down on that one. The, the, I mean, lemon, you know, it's so bright and yellow. It's such a joyous flavor, a flavor of the spring, a flavor of the summer. I'm going to put it in my lemon, cut lemonade for crying out loud. It just yeah. means summer in front porches and 4th of July. I don't know why they would choose to do lemon other than they wanted a yellow representative. And um, in that case, I know you dig into the depths of the flavor combinations. Certainly, yeah. you can find something more suitable. Uh, oh. I mean, let's get a candy apple, you know, like a caramel apple uh, or something. Let's 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 Ooh, dig into like our candy fall. Co candy corn. Candy corn. Yeah. I mean, let's 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 really embrace the fall flavors. I feel like Skittles has failed. The packaging. I'm already kind of giving my bottom line because I, I have such strong feelings here. But the packaging is phenomenal. It is. But the flavor lineup has been. So so weak so far and I got a feeling we're gonna continue uh, that here with the uh, uh, twisted tangerine let's see if it's any different than the bright side tangerine I don't know if I may up. be off base here this is a, I'm actually, this is a controversial statement I'm about to make. I'm actually <gasps> putting Skittles on blast. This is my hashtag hot take of the Skittles trilogy. This tastes less like the tangerine from Brightside and more like an orange Skittle. I would absolutely agree. Exposed? The bright I think they've lied here. Drama. Skittles drama. <laughs> exactly. The tangerine and the Brightside pack, man, I, I'm having a hard time reaching back all the way to the summer when we reviewed this stuff. Um, but I got the essence of real tangerine out of that one. It was lighter. That's that's the number one word that pops to mind. It was lighter. Twisted tangerine? Did they just twist it into an orange, Brian? That's my question to you. So if it is in fact orange, which my gut tells me it is, that would mean three of the five flavors on the Skittles pack are just the standard red bag Skittles. Oh my gosh. So last but not oh least, my gosh. the one, and I'm going to go ahead again and, and continue riding this wave of controversy. I can see all the dislikes. The one flavor that is truly unique to this, uh, well, the blue one is, 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 is questionable, but let's let's talk about the petrified pear, I believe is the name the of it. Pucarific pear. The, it is kind yeah. of a cute green. Mm. Now, this is the one you were most excited yeah. for, right? Yeah. Did orchards? No, no. Do they have, have pear in orchards? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. They had peach. Their green was kind of like a um, 
dead red apple like and lime or something with it? Maybe. So the peach, it's a nut. Pear. The pear, I can't just guess it. Uh, the pear is not quite what I wanted. It's not, you know, it's, it's, it, it fell kind of in the middle of my expectations. It's a little too sour, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, the back end is very sour, whereas pears are not sour whatsoever. They're more sweet and mild. Absolutely. Um, I got a little bit of that artificial, you know, pear flavoring that yeah. you would also get in like a Jelly Belly, but uh, I'm a little, I'm a little let down. I, I hate to end the trilogy on a soft note. Uh, it's unfortunate too, but I would describe it almost as a wang. I mean, it's like it was real. I mean, these it are falls down. You know, I mean, pear. I love pears. Oh my gosh, do I ever love pears? I have pear liqueur at the house. You know, we um, love pear tarts, and pear is a flavor that I really enjoy. This was just, like you said, way too sour and not quite reaching any sort of authentic flavor or any kind of artificial flavor that I might really enjoy. So This is like the third Matrix film. This is like the trilogy. All of these films, I had such high hopes. It doesn't end with a bang. It ends with the wham curve. We got to tell it like it is, though. We can't sugarcoat it, just like the candies are sugarcoated. Um, Toby and I, we've said our piece. Um, a little disappointed. We're going to bring Augie in here. Augie, you're on next. You tell us what you think, and then we wrap up because I have some final thoughts that I want to give you folks, the fans of Toby Vlog. Hey guys, it's the one and only Augie RFC, host of for the Red Fox Comms and the official Radcast podcast. We're here today to uh, give the uh, final thoughts on these Skittles. I, I'm I'm the last to try them, so uh, let's see. First, I, I really want to try the orange because typically in most Skittles packets, the orange is always my favorite. Now this is, what's the official name of this? That's the Twisted Tangerine, I believe. Twisted, all right. Well then, uh, let's eat it. Tastes just like orange in the regular Skittles. Like I'm looking desperately for the difference. Right. But I can't find it. They lied. I guess maybe it's a little bit stronger, but I can't tell if my mind's just trying to come up with excuses for Skittles, but I don't taste any different. And what's the point of buying these if they're all the same, you know? So also yeah, a disappointing note here. Let's try the um, the grape. Wh which one is this? Gripping grape. All right, these are my second favorite. So I have high hopes for these. Although I'm a bit worried that they're just gonna be the same as the orange. So um, down the hatch this goes. Once again, no difference. Uh, this is starting to taste just like a regular pack of original Skittles. That's what we fear. Um, Do you again, find it I am gripping all, at all? I almost want to say that there's a difference, but I think my mind is just messing with me. Let's go for the lemon, because these are my third favorite out of the original, and uh, I'm guessing it's going to be the same thing, but maybe, maybe they'll surprise me. So, um... Third in a row. Third in a row. What, what, Skittles, what happened to you? you? You used to put so much effort into your different packs. Like, this is just the same thing. But maybe uh, the fourth one will be original because this is pear. They're, this is the first pear Skittle, right? I think I've had pear and a Skittles before, but I can't place the pack. Hmm. I mean, you have apple. For the green, you have apple. You have watermelon, pear, and then you have lime. I mean, it's a limited palette, you know? Yeah. Well, whatever. We're going to see this. This might be the first original flavor. Let's see. Hmm. This is not what I was expecting at all. It's almost... <gasps> at first, Could it was it be like... pleasant? I'm not sure if that's the right word. I think it's a bit almost like dry. It's... It almost tastes like cardboard, like the moment you crunch into it, you get that cardboard taste. It doesn't taste natural at all. Um, this might be one that has to taste like multiple different pear Skittles and see how I like it at the end. Right. But so far we have three ones that are unchanged, one that's hitting me kind of meh, 
Here's the last one we got. Blueberry yep. something. It's just, yes. what's it called? Oh, the, the blue. Oh, help me out, Brian. <laughs> the, um... You the, can tell at this point, I'm just completely sun-zapped and kind of a little bit... <laughs> I feel like a Larry Lemon myself. I will help you. Bogey Berry. <laughs> well, it's no great wonder which that is really remember. Which is really, I guess, Boogie Berry, but... Alright, whatever. Just as this video has been off the rails, so has our walking and talking. We have... <laughs> Again, I'm getting more cardboard than I am natural flavor. Um, the culture, I think, is the weakest pack of Skittles. I can recall the moment that I might have tasted. Oh, such a disappointment! Pack. This is the Halloween pack. Like this must be so like the, the best. The dark side were better. The Much sours better. were better. I mean, the sours. Pretty I love. I love the sours. You I know what? I will even go as far as one of my least favorite packs. I probably even like more though. The dessert pack. Mm -hmm. The dessert pack I think was better. Um, tropical. America's mix, tropical berry, uh, sour, sweet and sour. Uh, most other flavors, yeah. I think there was something to love about, like you know, at least one flavor in every pack. Culture's right? probably the worst I've ever tasted. Uh, let's just keep shoveling the dirt off, man. Let's, let's keep kicking them when they're yeah. down. Um, culture sucks, man. Culture stinks. Culture is abhorrent. It's nasty. It's, it's uh, grotesque. It's miserable. Uh, it's malignant. And, and an assault on the, the spirit only of Halloween. Culture these skittles belong in is the toilet. <laughs> yeah. The, I gotta say, man, uh, the witch's brew, she needs a new recipe, man. A little bit more uh, newt eye and, and, and rat tail or something in there to, to, to make a new batch. Back to the good old days two years ago, Dark Side Skittles. And I have to wonder, Skittles Company, you know, where did the magic go? Dark Side Skittles, sure, it had its funky flavors, you know, they weren't all hits. But it really captured, you know, the essence of Halloween. It was, there were some unusual things. There were some funky, moldy things. There were really interesting and compelling names for the flavors, as well as the actual flavors. They really tried to mix it up, and I feel like here in the Cauldron Skittles pack, they just they weren't really trying. They weren't spooky flavors. They were summer flavors. They were ordinary, standard, everyday flavors, and they weren't even very good. They weren't even, you know, they didn't even put a twist on it. Fans of Toby Vlog, thanks for tuning in. Review the world. Brian, I want to thank you. I, no, absolutely. And if you want, if this is a little bit too downbeat for you guys, go back to our Bright Side review where we like love like every single flavor. Um, and if you or need to pick Orchard me up reviews, after this. On ReviewTheWorld.com. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, it was my pleasure to be part of this trilogy that took place over several months. I'm glad to be a part of Toby Vlog uh, down here in Texas, man. Uh, Skittles, we await what next is to be unveiled. We expect more uh, varied and neat flavors to come in the future. We will be reviewing.